Hi, I'm Laura from Predoptive Medical. Welcome to our training video. I'm going to be demonstrating for you some of the applications for the stall shield and stand. For application onto the Yankauer suction catheter, you take the stall shield from your sterile packaging, insert the Yankauer through the blue grommet up to the venturi port, and then suction as per your protocol. Between events, you simply can place the Yankauer down onto a surface, both the tip and the handle stay clear of the surface and free of contaminants. In areas where the stall shield is going to be used a lot, you can save time and be more efficient by putting the stall shield preloaded onto the Yankauer in a bag and have it attached to your suction unit. Then you simply open the bag, take it out as a unit and it's ready to go. For wound irrigation, you can apply the stall shield to your 60cc syringe. You simply introduce the tip of the syringe in through the grommet of the stall shield and carry on with your procedure for irrigating. Once your solution is empty, you can go back without taking the stall shield off your syringe and re-load your syringe and carry on your procedure. As well, the stall shield can be used with a variety of saline bottles. Simply apply the stall shield onto the bottle and continue with your irrigation. For INDs, the stall shield can also be applied to a scalpel. Take your scalpel, introduce it through the blue grommet, retract the sheath, carry on with your procedure. Once done, re-extend the protective sheath, remove the scalpel from the stall shield and dispose of both safely. Removing an NG tube can be very messy. The stall can help. You apply the stall shield with the concave surface facing your patient. Introduce the NG tube through the grommet. Remove the NG tube. At the same time, the stall shield is scraping off any accumulated secretions. And then once you're to about the 10 centimeter mark, you can remove the NG tube. Stall shield actually prevents that whip splash effect that you have when you're removing that, stall, that NG tube. For irrigation of Foley catheters, the stall shield can also be used with a syringe. Apply the syringe to the blue grommet of the stall shield and your Foley catheter onto the tip of the syringe. You have to ensure that there's a snug fit to the base of the syringe and the Foley catheter with the stall shield. The same technique can also be applied for medication installation. For emergency thoracostomies, the stall shield can be applied to a Kelly clamp. Introduce the Kelly clamp through the stall shield, carry on with the procedure. Any blowback or spray is blocked by the stall shield. For emergency tracheostomies, the stall shield can also be applied to your scalpel as we showed you previously. For eye irrigation, simply introduce the lure nut of your IV tubing into the grommet of the stall shield, secure with a chevron of tape, and carry on your eye irrigation with your chosen solution. The stall shield can also be used for peri care. Introduce your solution bottle through the grommet of the stall shield, carry on with your procedure. Any splashback is blocked at source. As you can see, the stall shield has many applications. It breaks the chain of infection transmission at the very first link. It provides at source biohazard blockade, two levels above PPE. Thanks for watching our video and work safely.